Do you secretly feel depressed over erectile dysfunction? There is hope. If you understand and start to fix these six forgotten causes, satisfying erections will return. Welcome to the Cure the Expert channel. I'm your host, Eileen. Here, we talk about men's health issues. Also, if you are interested in telehealth and drugs from Cure.Expert, please see the description under the video. Today, we're going to tell a story of one of my friends, Zach. Zach is a superhero to his wife and kids because he works very hard at his job and still makes time for his family. Zach, a super cool guy in his early 40s, handsome, great personality, and has a happy married life. From the outside, it seems like Zach has it all together. But the thing is, there's a secret struggle that he has been dealing with that a lot of guys can relate to. It's erectile dysfunction, or simply ED. So this is what Zach said. Usually what happens is that after a long and busy day at work, he comes home, lies down on the bed with his beautiful wife, and they both want to get close and intimate. But after a few kisses and cuddles, when it was time to get down to business, Zach goes soft. He feels super nervous and incredibly embarrassed at that moment. His wife then turns around and comforts him, saying, well, maybe they're just too tired and it's okay to stop. His wife is so sweet, you know? The problem is these awkward moments kept happening over and over again. Zach fell down, frustrated, and helpless. He couldn't help but wonder. They have never had this problem before. Why is this happening now? He's just 40 years old. So he asked me for some helpful suggestions. He wanted to know, is there something wrong with him? Will he be able to enjoy intimacy again? The answer is yes, of course. Erectile dysfunction is not a permanent condition. There are so many ways to deal with it. Now, a lot of people might be just like Zach, too embarrassed to talk about it. But you know what? It's actually extremely common. ED is a problem that a huge percentage of adult men face. So there's no need to feel embarrassed. The good news is that there are plenty of ways to improve ED. Just take it step by step, and I truly believe that everything will get better in time. We'll talk about these a bit later. Now, let's dig a little bit deeper and find out the six major reasons why erectile dysfunction happens. The first reason is cardiovascular disease. Sometimes, Conditions like cardiovascular disease can restrict the blood vessels. This slows down the delivery of oxygen and important nutrients needed for a healthy erection. So, for example, when you have high cholesterol, your arteries will harden. Those include the arteries that go to your penis. Those hardened arteries will have a much smaller diameter. That means not enough blood can flow to the penis. Your penis is like a balloon, and blood is like air for the balloon. You need a lot of blood staying in your penis to make it hard. So, what can we do? The first thing to do is to check your cholesterol levels. But what if your cholesterol is already high? Besides medication, what else can we do? First, a low-fat diet is even more important than medications. Because if you keep on dumping lots of fat into your arteries, medication may not be as effective. Second, fish oil taken twice a day is a powerful way to help cleanse arteries. The second reason why ED happens is diabetes. 
Diabetes can make it hard to achieve and maintain erections in two ways. One, by damaging the arteries that carry blood to your penis. As we just mentioned, you need healthy arteries to carry enough blood for an erection. The second way that diabetes create ED is by damaging the nerves that supply the penis. Nerves are like the Type-C cables that charge your mobile phone. If you damage the nerves to your penis, you will lose control over your erections. Also, high blood sugar damages the cells lining your arteries. That means they will not be able to properly make the erection chemical nitric oxide. So, it's a good idea to check blood sugar and HbA1c as part of a wellness checkup. And, if necessary, start first-line diabetes medications as well as a low-carb diet. The third cause of ED is obesity. And did you know that obesity can mess with the balance of hormones, which affects the erectile function? Basically, obesity reduces the male hormone testosterone and increases the female hormone estrogen in your body. You see, fat cells increase enzymes called aromatase. These enzymes convert the testosterone in your body to estrogen. So you end up with much lower levels of testosterone and higher levels of estrogen. But the problem is, testosterone is important to start and maintain an erection. So if you have low levels of testosterone, you will have problems with erectile dysfunction. So, for someone who is obese, this could be the reason for erection problems. Here, dieting will become extremely important. I know what you're going to say, that dieting is not easy. But, with the invention of effective dieting drugs, such as Rigovi, dieting has become much easier. You really should check it out. You need a prescription, of course. The fourth cause of ED is high blood pressure. High blood pressure can damage the cells lining the blood vessels to your penis. That means it'll be difficult to achieve and keep an erection. As I mentioned, damaging these cells in your arteries means they cannot make good amount of nitric oxide, the chemical that helps you get an erection. Furthermore, if the arteries to your penis are damaged, they will not properly carry blood there. And you need a good amount of blood in the penis for a good erection. Blood pressure is actually quite easy to check. There are automatic blood pressure checking machines in a lot of local pharmacies, clinics, and even some spas and gyms. If you have high blood pressure, you should first get on a low salt healthy diet. And if prescribed, you should start first line high blood pressure medication. The fifth reason for ED is a not-so-healthy lifestyle. Besides the medical factors, guess what? Lifestyle also plays a big role. Things like poor eating habits, being a couch potato, and drinking too much alcohol can all contribute to this ED struggle. Eating too much unhealthy food can lead to obesity, diabetes, and heart problems increasing the chances of ED. And when we don't get enough exercise, our blood doesn't flow as well, our heart isn't as strong, and our testosterone levels isn't as high, creating conditions for erectile dysfunction. Oh, and let's talk about alcohol. Drinking too much can really mess up our sexual function. It slows down our nervous system. That means the penis is not that sensitive. It also causes you to pee more, which leads to dehydration that narrows the blood vessels. So, it limits blood flow to the penis. And here's one more thing. Alcohol can even lower testosterone levels. I'm sure most of you know what the solution to an unhealthy lifestyle is. Make it healthy. That means eat a low-fat, low-calorie, low-salt diet, rich on fish and vegetables, but low on red meat and carbs. You should also exercise for at least 15 to 30 minutes every one to two days. The sixth reason for ED is stress and anxiety. Now let's talk about 
how our feelings and thoughts can affect erectile dysfunction. Stress and anxiety can make it hard to keep an erection because they can disrupt how your brain sends messages to the penis to make it hard. And when we have unresolved emotional issues, it can be challenging to fully connect with our partners during sex. Improvement here is a bit more complicated. For a lot of people, activities such as biking or jogging, yoga, or even a nice massage can really reduce stress. But for anxiety or emotional issues, it might be best to seek counseling or medical advice. But don't worry, there are many treatment options available. First-line medications like Tadalafil, which is generic Cialis, or Sildenafil, which is generic Viagra, can help improve blood flow to the penis. And by making some changes to our lifestyle, like exercising and eating healthy foods and managing stress, we can improve erectile function. Plus, counseling can also be really helpful in reducing anxiety and stress levels. Just remember, you don't have to let erectile dysfunction drag you down. As for Zach, he changed his diet and he started taking medication. Now, he and his wife are really enjoying their intimate moments. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.